this is Peter from Particularly Meticulous Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make this uh, shape key quite easily is blinking eye, open eye, closing eye, whatever you want to do whatever you want to call it so uh, let's quickly open a new file and yeah fine I'll save that <coughs> so that's I need to quickly start by making my eye maybe you guys have already got your eye but um, yeah just just for the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna make an eye. So sorry, just I just rotated that on the x-axis. On the x-axis, R X nine zero. Um, I'm gonna give it the material so I can uh, see more easily what I'm doing. Usually, when I'm making some <coughs> cartoony eyes, this is not gonna be you know, hyper realistic, but yeah, specular point one roughness zero, and that will be okay for my eye. Let me shape that smooth. Also, just want to add in the pupil. Uh, oh, sorry, faces. Uh, maybe you don't know this, but you can copy the properties of a material to a new one. So I'm going to do that just because it means I don't have to change my specular and roughness again. Add a new material, paste those properties, and it's now got the same specular and roughness. Just change the color to black. Oh, sorry, I'm half asleep. Uh, a sign. Okay, that is my eye. There we go. Now I'm going to add a. Well, I, you, I could have done this at the beginning. Either way, doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm just going to duplicate that. Oh no, I'm not going to duplicate that. Apparently, I'm going to duplicate that. Size it up slightly. This is going to be my eyelid. Um, but if I just show you this, ide. I want X-ray mode. Ideally, for the eyelid, you want to use these edges here. So I'm just going to rotate that back or rotate it forward, it doesn't matter either way. And also maybe you've noticed when you look at your own eyes that um, when they're closed, the top eyelid goes slightly, for, you know, covers more of the eye surface than the uh, bottom eyelid. So I'm gonna rotate that slightly forward like that. Okay, not too bad. I'm gonna give this as a material as well actually because otherwise things are gonna get confusing. Let's give it a nice uh, human skin color. that skin. How does that look? Cool. Right, let's get cracking. So uh, first I need to separate my eyelid. Maybe you've already modeled your eyelid and actually it's modeled onto a face, which, you know, I'm what I'm doing might seem completely crazy and it's not going to work, but it will. It's exactly the same principle, so don't worry about that. Um, but for me, I'm going to just get those parts are going to be my eyelid. If you ha already had it on a face, then maybe your eyelid would be a slightly different shape. Um, you know, maybe not. It might come down. If this is the nose here, maybe the eyelid would come down a bit here, where the whatever it's called is the sclera. No, that that little pink thing. Maybe it comes down here and goes up here. It's, it's the same principle anyway. Um, so this is just for me making my eyelids first. You may may already have this done. I don't want to put them there though. I would just want to keep them where they were. Sorry. All right, that'll do. Right. So now we need to add a couple of modifiers to this. I'm going. I'm going to add a solidify modifier. And the reason for that is because let me just label these. I and eyelid. Um, the reason for that is because we want to make sure that the eyelid contacts the eye such to the point that it actually goes in, into the eye and intersects the eye because then you don't have to worry about when you animate it are you going to see any gaps in the between the eyelid and the eye so I'm actually just going to make this intersect slightly ever so slightly like that all right cool don't need the eye anymore don't need x-ray mode we're good to go I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible um, right so I want to hide these parts because I don't want them don't want them at all. I don't want to affect them when I'm doing my shape keys. Actually, first, sorry. Uh, <laughs> let's start doing shape keys. We're going to add the basis one, and then we're going to add the new one. I'm going to call it top open. Oh, open it. I'm not a very good typist. Uh, yeah, so I've got my new shape key here. Top open. You've got to start with your basis one before you do anything, but it doesn't matter what the, I just started some. And now, what I'm going to do, go to the front view. And I'm going to just select, I don't know, these few. 
Okay, and I'm going to switch on um, proportional editing, not connected only. And I'll see if I want smooth or if I want another one. But yeah, so we, we're going to rotate around the 3D cursor because it gives a nice round rotation. Uh, something like that. Mm, no, I don't really like that. Let's try that again with a small area of effect. Can you hear my baby crying in the background? Yeah, I'm a good father. Um, anyway, I'm just going to leave him to cry because I don't have any milk left. He sucked me dry. How about that? Nope, don't like that one. Okay, we're going to keep it on smooth, but I'm just going to reduce the area that I've selected. Try one more time. Okay, there we go. Just to select a smaller area. And if I bring back my eye with some color, mm, that's about right. Not too bad. Okay, bring up the value here. So now that, that is now set as a shape key. If you haven't done shape keys before, that's it. It's now done. Okay, guess what we're going to do now? Any ideas? Uh, new shape key, bottom open. Which, if you're British, sounds a little bit strange. I'm going to bring back all those faces and vertices, Alt and H, and now we're going to do the opposite. I'm going to select that top part, hide it, L to select the rest, hide it, and do the exact, well, not the exact opposite, but almost the opposite, and just rotate X, bring that down. Okay, that's all right. Good. Make sure I bring up the value before I exit edit mode, and then there we go. Yeah. That's it, basically. Stick around, I'm going to show you a couple more bits, alright? Unless you, you think you've got it, but there are a couple of problems you may come in to come across, right? Um, I'm going to delete that bottom bottom open um, shape key, because I'm going to show you something else. If your eye is not at the 3D cursor, not in the world origin, and, okay, now we want to make the bottom open uh, shape key, Go back and do exactly the same thing. Oh, why? Oh, go away. Oh, it's okay. Right, bring that down slightly. Slightly. Oh, let me show you from here. Rotate on the x-axis. Oh, oh dear. Yeah, you can see what's happening there. It's still rotating around the 3D cursor. I could choose to rotate on the individual origins. Oh no, that doesn't work. I could choose to rotate active element. No. Okay. Try local. No, nothing's working. Okay, right, so this is how you fix this. Your eye. The eye needs to be the center of your world. So, <coughs> the origin of the eye is already here. That's fine, but just in case you have already applied all transforms, the origin of the eye is now here. So we want to set origin. Origin to geometry. Cool. So now my origin is on the eye. Now I want to bring the 3D cursor to this eye. So shift and S, cursor to select it. Right. So now, when I go like this, keep it on global, 3D cursor, it now rotates around this point. So you get that look, which is what I wanted. Hopefully it's something like what you wanted. Right, next, there's one more thing I'll show you. So now we've got the bottom that opens and the top that opens. Actually, there are two more things I'm going to show you, just in case you're not that, not that savvy with Blender. Yeah, top opens, cool bottom opens, cool, but I want I want one which controls them both, easy, having them top open, bottom open, both of a value of one or whatever, maybe you want to have him like squinting or something like that, we could do that as well, so half open, set the values to what you what you would wish the, the next shape key to be, and you click this, okay, so that's it, I turn those back off, I could even delete those, and now I have this one shape key which controls both. If I wanted, let's say I do want one, I want one key to bring them both open, bring them both to max, new shape from mix, bring those ones down, I can show you that the new one now does the whole eye. Okay? Um, I never have a problem with this, but some people have told me that when they do this, sometimes the eye, let's see if it's happening here, it's kind of happening a bit, it's going back a little bit into the eye. Can you see that there? 
Yeah, and then at the end it finishes in the right place, but it's just because of the way that Blender merges these shape keys together. Um, if you had this problem, <laughs> which I've never had that problem before, you can simply, this is why I do the solidify, just because you can make your eyelid a bit thicker. Eyelids aren't exactly, you know, paper thin against your eye, so you can make them a bit thicker and that, that problem won't occur. Um, the next thing, right, the next thing I want to show you is presumably, you know, you might have uh, two eyes. Oh, hang on, let's let's bring this over here. I'm not going to duplicate it, that's cheating. I'm going to do it with sim uh, symmetry. Um, best way to do this, apply those transforms. Let's do, let's, I'll just do the eyelid for now, it's easier. All right. Um, I need to bring back my eyelid. And, oh, put it on basis, sorry, there we go. I want to symmetrize that because presumably you've, if you've made a face, you've used the mirror modifier or you've um, you've built one side and then symmetrized or whatever. So I've got two. Um, this actually, it's already done because it's gonna it's gonna have copied it will have copied those across. Yeah, but if for example you had some, t I'll do it with the eye. It's easier if I do it with the eye. I'm gonna make a new sh just do a quick shape key for the eye uh, called look left. Yeah, and um, before I do that, actually, let's let's symmetrize. Okay, but I, I, I can't be bothered to animate both sides and whatever. I can't be bothered to do shape keys for both sides, so I'm just going to do it like this. I'm going to click on the one, uh, look left. Oh, sorry, we don't want that. We want local individual origins and local. Uh, how do you do look left? Rotate Z. Okay, so that's one eye looking to the left. Set the value. Cool. Done. Yeah, so now we've got one eye that looks left. Like that. So to make make it symmetrize, we're just going to do new shape from mix. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gotta turn the value up first. Uh, new shape from mix. Mirror shape key. Like that. And so now this one makes it go that way. Yeah, so the so then obviously you would do this, you would do the right eye looking uh, right and mirror that across. Yeah, oh, and then I'm not going to go into it too much now, but yeah, you would just do all of the shape keys on one eye, up, down, left, right, yeah, and then mirror them across. And then you just need to, like I did before with the pairing of the, the two, the, the eyelid open and the eyelid bottom open, you just do the same thing, pair them together as both eyes look left, both eyes look right, whatever. Okay? Anyway, <laughs> sorry, that's probably a bit confused. The point was just to get the eyelids opening. Oh, and now we've got some crazy eyes. But that's it. All right. Thanks very much. I hope you found it useful. Please give a like and subscribe.